Right in one of the more beautiful parts of the world because something quite ugly is happening there. Poachers in South Africa are killing rhinos for their horns. A record 1,020 have died this year alone. There are only about 30,000 left in the world, and Deborah Pata reports on the battle to save them. There is a rhino war, there's a wildlife war. This is the battle for Africa. Yeah. And the poachers are winning, so we'll say wildlife filmmakers so. Derek and Beverly Jaber. We've reached a tipping point now in South Africa where rhinos have been poached faster than they can breed. And that's a very, very dangerous master. More than 30 years ago, the Jabez abandoned city life and took to the African bush, creating groundbreaking films for National Geographic. Last year, we lost 1,004 rhinos. Now, they say they're witnessing the decimation of a species. Every seven hours, a rhino is killed in Africa. Its horn sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars as a powerful aphrodisiac. I mean, we've seen the most horrific um, images of how they hack off. They hack off a rhino horn when the poor rhino is still alive and it's just left there to die. It was months ago. Chief Ranger Steve Dell has seen the slaughter firsthand. What does it do to you as a man who works um, in this to see it? It's heartbreaking. Just stop that. Um, then I'll say sort of questions, please. I'm on the edge of despair. The Jabez say it is time for dramatic action. They plan to airlift 100 rhinos from South Africa to secret locations in Botswana far from the poacher's reach. It's worked before. The 5,000 pound animals are darted and captured and loaded onto cargo planes 10 at a time. Moving 100 rhinos out of the highest poaching areas in the world into the lowest poaching areas in the world seem to make sense to us. It's an expensive project, four and a half million dollars all paid through donations. The more we allow species to disappear, the more we're moving ourselves further and further to extinction. And uh, we're just not going to let that happen. We're going to do whatever we can right up until the last minute. It's a last ditch effort to preserve these prehistoric creatures in the hope they survive for generations to come. Deborah Patter, CBS News, Johannesburg, South Africa. And that's the CBS Evening News.